It's an exciting night here at the Garden. They've worked all year to get here. It's the semifinal games for the Hockey East Championship. First up, Providence College taking on Boston College. The scoring started early with a goal just over a minute of play by senior Paul Carey. Providence answered with back-to-back -back goals, but it was Boston College who came out on top 4-2, to two, sending them to the championship game for the third year in a row. Here's some post-game reaction. You made it here. It's the first time the team's been here in four years. It's your first year coaching. What is it like to make it to the Garden? Um, well, I mean, it, it's it's good. It's good for the program. It was a great environment tonight. Um, but we didn't expect anything less, you know, in this league. And um, it's a tough league. I mean, obviously, uh, you uh, you know, you beat the number six team in the nation last week, and then you move forward. And what do you get? You get the number one team in the nation. And uh, BC's a heck of a team. I thought it was a good game tonight. And you know, they uh, they were able to bury their chances and um, you know move on. Now. Let's talk about when you beat Lowell last week. Like you said, a nationally ranked team with outstanding goaltending. What did you learn from that game that you brought into this game? Well, I mean, I, I thought we, we came together as a team, you know, kind of functioning together, you know, as, as 20 guys, uh, kind of with one heartbeat a little bit. Um, I thought we supported our defensemen really well in, in that series, um, you know, and, and made it tough for Lowell. Uh, but Lowell's a really good team too, so I think that series really could have gone either way with a, with a couple bounces. But I think that's this league. You know, you got to um, all through the regular season, it was like that. The depth of this league is absolutely incredible, and you know, a couple bounces here, a couple bounces there, uh, we could have been out of the playoffs. So um, it's kind of how it goes. Boston College obviously is such a strong team with a great record this season. You had two quick goals, almost back to back in the first. Did you feel like you were gaining a little bit of momentum, but you just couldn't get a pass Milner after that? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, we. we had a couple good chances. I mean, he had a great glove save there. He, he made a big stop when it was 2-1 on, on Andy Beliski when we had a chance to make a 3-1. It was a rebound. But he's a really good goalie, you know. Um, he was the, the goaltending champion in our league this year. So, um, but, that, you know, like that's that's what big players do in big situations. Um, and, and they have the players that can really hurt you. We, we, we had some turnovers. I thought Goudreau was absolutely uh, electric tonight. And we had a tough time stopping him. Uh, but, uh, you know, credit to them. And, and, you know, I think they've won 13 or 14 games in a row. And you, they're unanimous number one in the country. And we just wish the best of luck to them and all the teams from Hockey East going forward in the NCAA tournament. What did you learn from this game that you can take into next year? You're obviously going to be losing guys, but what can you do with what you'll have? I think just the experience. I think the experience is, is the big point right now. I mean, I thought, uh, you know, our guys, uh, you know, having not played in that environment before, I thought they were a little tight, you know, and, and you don't want them that at all. They weren't tight last weekend but um, you know it, it, you got to you got to get through those times probably by experience um, so you know this is a good experience for us we have to learn from it um, you know in the in in the spring uh, you know we'll, we'll obviously talk about the experience and, and what we can improve on but right now you know what kind of our, our hearts and thoughts are with the, the senior class that did such a terrific job of coming in and working hard every day and it was really enjoyable you know as, as the staff uh, working with the kids each day because they showed up to get better every day. This will be your first year going to the championship game. How excited are you? Very. I mean, uh, just to be here with uh, all the my teammates and get to play in the final game of Hockey East, it's going to be a great experience for me. And as a freshman, it's going to be awesome. I feel like you just come alive during important games, Boston University games, the Bean Pot, MVP, and now tonight you scored a goal. What is it with you? My teammates and my linemates definitely. Uh, Paul Carey made a great pass to me today for an empty net tap and goal. So uh, uh, my linemates and teammates definitely uh, one of my biggest factors uh, playing playing for BC this year. Talk about Milner's play tonight. He uh, had 27 saves, did really well, but. What was he doing the best? Oh, uh, I mean, he let a let a weak one in the first first uh, first goals. Not not one of his better save uh, goals, and then uh, came back and ever since that first goal, he just held pucks and uh, didn't let any rebounds up and just played phenomenal. And it didn't seem like it rattled him one bit the goal that he let in. So he uh, big factor in our uh, our winning right now. Well, what did Coach Dirk tell you going into the third period? Um, just uh, play our game. Uh, don't turn the puck over and uh, just keep playing our game and we'll come out with a win. Now, what are you going to do tonight to prepare for this big game tomorrow? You obviously want to make it back and uh, beat either Boston University or Maine. Uh, yeah, just uh, get some sleep, look at, uh, look at the tape for tomorrow and uh, just come out uh, ready to go against either Maine or BU. Paul well, Carey, you're no stranger to making it to this far in the Hockey East tournament. How excited are you to finally make it here again? 
Uh, you know, we're all very excited. Um, it's something that we don't take for granted. Uh, it's certainly very hard to make it this far with so many good teams in Hockey East, and we're really excited to play uh, the winner of the next game. 13 wins coming into tonight's game. You definitely had some momentum. Talk about what you were able to do well during regular season and games last weekend to get you here. Um, we don't really think about the streak. We just take it one game at a time. But we do have some mo momentum um, right now. You know, we're real positive. Um, you know, every it's been a good week of practice, so we really, we really prepare well, and uh, you know, we get ready for the weekend games. You do so many things well: penalty kill, anything on defense. You have amazing forwards. What did you think was really on tonight? Um, I think the bench was the reason why we won tonight. Uh, they came out and they had a few few goals early, and it didn't affect us one bit. We just kept pushing. Um, Milner, you know, he was a rocking net. Uh, the defense got the puck out, made some made some great stops, and the forwards put the puck home. So it was a good team effort. Now Milner all season, he doesn't have um, any playoff experience. So getting this far and playing so well, what do you see coming from him uh, tomorrow? Um, he's really grown a lot, and he's a he's a guy who takes every game very seriously, and uh, he really prepares well and does all the right things throughout the week. And you know, it shows it shows on game day. Talk about your performance tonight, picking up a couple points. Uh, yeah, I'll take that, but I like the two points that we got as a team tonight. Now, I know I have a feeling what you're going to say, but tomorrow would you rather play Maine or Boston University? Um, I want to play the winner. I don't, I don't really care who it is. So you don't want to see a rivalry game at the Garden again? Um, it'd be nice, but so wouldn't play in Maine. So. Is there anything you learned from tonight that you can bring into tomorrow? Um, well, it was real hot in here tonight, so we're going to make sure we hydrate and get some rest tonight.